Fred McGriff. I can honestly say I'm so excited for you, man. Congratulations. I appreciate it, Harold. You know, my Harold, we go way back. To way it. back. It's a pleasure. Now, to me, let's talk about the nickname Crime Dog. I thought Kirby Puckett <laughs> gave you that because I remember him on the bus going, man, you look like McGruff. That dog, you know that dog, the Crime Dog. And that's where I thought the name came from. Oh, What's yeah. your recollection? That could be a possibility because Kirby was a character. Kirby oh, was, Kirby he was a special man. Everybody. You on these bus trips heading to the, the stadium and everything. <laughs> and Kirby's like, Crime dog, bro. Hey, crime dog. Let's go. Hey, crime dog. <laughs> Fred McGriff takes the grand tour. What a shot by Fred. My favorite Fred McGriff line. I say, how you doing, Fred? You go, just need 30 good swings. 30 good swings, am I right? Oh, that, that was the name of the game for, for me. Because you're going to have your ups and downs and your struggles. But a lot of times you need something to keep you going, keep you in there, even though you may be 0 for 10, 0 for 15, you need something going. So for me, so I was setting goals. Every year I was gonna set those goals. I knew if I get five home runs a month, I'll have my 30 homers. Cause 30 homers, that was it. If 30 was a number and to drive in 100 runs, that, that was special if you get that century mark. So if I hit 17 RBIs a month, I was gonna get my 100 at the end of the year. To deep center field, and this ball is gone. All those years you didn't get in. How, how was that hard? How hard was that to watch? Because your numbers warranted right. it. Right. Well, oh. you, you you really did, you didn't watch. But what's tough is you go around and um, you see ex-players. You just see folks, and they're like, "Ah, oh, man, Fred, you know." Uh, you got, you got great numbers and you, know, you, you didn't get elected and so forth. So that's, that's the toughest part, um, just. Did you ever think you should have played a little longer, maybe got to 500? Because you're at 493. If you had to round 500, <laughs> they'd have probably just said, ah, he's in. Did you think not having 500 held you back? Well, you tell yourself, okay, if, so if I hit 493, I'm a good player, but if I've hit 500, I'm a great player. Right. It's seven right. Come on, come on. Right. And then, because you know, it's a lot of guys, it's you know, some guys in the Hall of Fame that don't have 500 home runs, you know. So, so, so it was that, like, well, yeah. The Contemporary Baseball Era Players Committee has elected one new member to the Hall of Fame. Fred McGriff, welcome to Cooperstown. Here's the big question everybody asks. Biggest one of all. Have you still working on the speech yet? <laughs> Slowly, I'm, I'm getting bits and pieces together, and now with these phones, every time when I'm, you know, maybe driving a car or uh, you just at home and you're watching TV and you, you, you jot down little notes, and so it's so many people that um, you want to thank. Like, okay, I has it been this emotional guy. thinking back to people you want to add to the speech? Yeah. Like, I mean, now you got a chance yeah. to really look back. Have right. you found yourself getting emotional? Well, it's just because there's so many people that. Um, just over the years, going way back to uh, your little league, little league baseball days. So you, you're starting to like reflect on a lot of stuff and you're like, okay, like, yeah, I'm gonna have to put this in there in my speech. Nah, I'm gonna have to leave this out of my speech, you know, cause, cause your, your time, you don't have a lot of time. So uh, we're gonna wing it, it'll be interesting. See, it's in July, July 23rd at 1.30. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I got the date and I got the time and before you know it, it'll be here. <laughs>